You didn't even beat the current top one. Zoink, you're nothing. You ain't got no platformer rep. You can't be sighing in here. We all know why I'm listening to this song right now. It's to celebrate a great event. Yeah, I played the rhythm game level. I first tried everything and beat it in like 300 seconds or something. I don't know. I don't know why it's an insane demon. You just go like, game over. It's really not, yeah. It's really just not, though. You just kind of hit the keys. <laughs> Who likes Heart of Android here? Has anyone heard this album, like, in full? This is my favorite. My favorite Camille album, so please check it out. Camellia. This is a song off the album, and it's now in the game, if you want to ever use this one. I'd have to guess anyway. Yuko literally makes the best platform levels, I'm not even gonna lie. This is Heart of Android. It's a banger song. Okay, we're playing new. We're playing that new, new. I know, that's why I was playing that song. Actually, let me wash my hands like really well before this. I, I, eventually this wooding will be ruined, but right now I'm like, I need to touch it like it's some sort of like scientific equipment or something. I've just gotta be Creor. I want it to be, um,. I don't know who I want it to be. That's kind of the only person I want. Be Frums. Let's do, let's do Frums. I'm thinking heavy on ICDD or Frums. That's that's who it needs to be. One of those two people. Okay. So we're playing Cave of the Scarlet Sky. It's the new top one, and I can't play it yet because I haven't. I haven't. I'm on. A, I'm not on the right keyboard option. Because I am a genius. Utility. Needed to set it to the stop. GD. I'm from a set to. Yeah, I have I have the uh, the wooding right now. This is my my current settings for GD. I might change it later. Someone said to me the tachyon mode also increases my polling rate to 4K. Is that true? Does anyone know? GCXCV real. Thank you for the sub. I need more cable, bro. I need more of my cable to get into this area so it doesn't like mess with my legs. I can't seem to do it right now, so whatever. I just did it. Sorry, I think it was 100 bits. I always mess that up. But yeah, appar apparently the tachyon mode also increases your... your, uh... your polling rate to 4k which is actually useful for games like this so let's just do a practice run again i'm not warm or anything like that so it's going to take a little bit to see kind of what we're working with here what we need to nerf uh what what can stay that sort of thing it's going to be hard i know that to be the case i did a practice run uh yeah that we're going to get to that one jump pretty soon and that one jump is kind of an issue. This jump already is pretty hard because of the saw blades.
As you can see, I have to avoid the saw blades on the ground. I can't go right after them. Yeah, the one jump. Shoutouts to the real ones who know what I'm talking about with the one jump. And you don't you don't have a lot of time to set this jump up. You just kind of have to go for it. Which means you have to respect that spike's boundaries for the most part. They're a fake two. The real ones, fake twos. Real threes, fake fours. Odd even. I should jump higher and then stop moving earlier. Just because I'm avoiding two boxes like that. Yeah. And land like that. And then this is kind of confusing. So I have to like land on this. And then what? Like that? I can't just run off of this, surely. No, that's gonna kill me. How close can I get to this? This is as close as I'll ever get to this. Damn it. I don't know why I tested it like that. It's close enough. I mean, I can do that. I don't know if this is the, the move, keeping this in like this. Because I'm not sure even that every keyboard can do that. Double tap right. What if I skip the jump before? Uh, I tried that. It's not possible to move that fast, I don't think. Well, I guess there's no harm in finding out. Not from here. Definitely not from here. As you can see from here, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, th this is, that's a no-go right there. So we can theoretically land here. What if I jump, what if I jump into this spike? Oh, okay, that, 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 there we go. Okay, there's the strap for this. We jump, we jump into the bottom of that spike without actually hitting that hitbox, and then we can just hold right. Nice. Strat found. We'll need to rely on strats like that if we want to get through this. Okay, so this is the jump that needs to be nerfed 100% because, I mean, just look at this. What? Like, this is not happening, I think. I don't even think I really need to nerf like any other jump. This one jump is just probably the one that needs to go. I don't think, I don't think this one can get consistent. I'm not sure. Arrive the jump. I might be able to hold off for now, but it's just, it's brutal. I mean, okay, so you have to, I know, I know you have to run from the back and do that. It's like, I think it's, I don't know. It's hard. Just remove the spike on the right. I wouldn't do that. I still wanna, the essence of the jump is still good. I just think what I did right there should be a, uh, uh, a pass through. I might just be able to, well, I don't know. You could, do you want me to actually like physically alter the way the spikes look in terms of their size? Or would you rather I just remove spikes entirely? Cause I don't see any like smaller spikes or anything. I don't know that. That's kind of a question of like, uh... Maybe if that top right spike was gone, it would be possible, actually. That might not even be like a bad nerf. Like, that might make it more, like, fun anyway. I'm not 100% on them. Like, it's so hard. I'm not, I'm not an idiot. I'm not bad. It's just like... Trust me on this one. This jump is not it in terms of possibility to do it. I don't know why I'm wasting my time with it. I'm just gonna no clip. I'm not doing it. I did it before. It's possible. We're definitely nerfing that like 100%. So let's see. Just keep, I'm keeping a mental note of that. Charge Jelly, thank you for the sub. So we got this now. I don't think this jump is too bad. Let's just kind of jump through the boxes. Although I think stopping in place is what I want to do. It's still not easy by any means, though. Choose yes or no. Yes? I'm a, I'm, I'm a big fan of yes and. At the top and go forward like this. That wouldn't be very useful. I need to fit through these boxes. So that would be like a jump like, jump like that, but better. But it's not easy because if you touch any of that, that that's what we're actually looking at here. 
So you probably want to run from the back, just so you have like the most momentum for it. I don't think we need to nerf this jump. I think this is something that I can figure out. It feels like I almost had more success when I like was stopped in place when I was doing it before. But I'm not sure. It's pretty early on. If I nerf the, the previous jump, then, which I mean, I kind of have to, to a certain degree, then this, this can happen in terms of, I just need to get the, uh, the feel for it. I have a while that I can wait on this before, so I don't have to like super rush it. I just have to move. What do you mean by hit the top though? The one behind? I'm not sure I understand. Like this one? The only way to get past that is just to jump. There's no blocks I can land on. I guess I can land on this one, but what am I not seeing? Behind? Well, I'm not focusing on that jump. I'm focusing on this one. If you're talking about that one, that, that one doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. GD demo. I, I, I do need that. I, I need a GD demo through this spike gap. I don't know. In case, like, I'm not an idiot. You guys are not making it clear enough, whatever the hell you're talking about. This may need a nerf. I'm not 100% sure yet. I can see myself getting consistent at this though. I just need to learn like the nuances of it better. This is, I'm sure this will be a jump that people are able to do in the future. This is one checkpoint, yeah. And then you, you can chill here. And then this jump is like in the middle, I think. Yeah, and then you wanna like land there. Curve in. That's simple enough. Do I just want to like full jump this from like here or something? If I can find a good full jump setup, I would I would like use it. That's pretty good. Yeah, that, that's that's solid. That's solid. We can just do it from there. I need to be a bit more further in though. Maybe not. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's easier here. Or just doing that also. Yeah. I don't know. I think I can definitely get consistent in doing it that way. And then this is like, you jump and then you move in after. This is a weird jump. You want to go like up, up in one motion and down in one motion. Like the closest I can get to this is the best for me. So like here's the best I can do, I think. Like that would be good. I don't think I need to nerf that. Right now I'm just running through like, what is this? What about this is unreasonable? What about this isn't happening? So far, it's definitely that jump. Maybe the 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 Scarlet Basement jump, although I'm not 100% convinced yet. This gate's harder than it looks, actually. So I would, if I could, if I could only just like uh, do that, then it would be good. Like if I could just jump up there, but I can't, so I have to do like a. A small jump and then a one over there and then I think I should just do this one in one solid motion because I don't think it's worth to like land on the I don't know I don't even know if this is a possible in one solid motion I'm sure it is yeah okay that's probably fine. I can probably figure that out. But the thing is, I don't know yet. I don't know what's... Until I actually go and lab stuff, I'm not going to know what is what in terms of possibility. This jump I almost certainly just want to do, I feel like. Although this corner is making it... Is making me less convinced. Also, I might put on another music while I'm just like labbing and stuff like that because it doesn't. I don't really want to listen to this on loop forever. So a lot of you guys are probably thinking this will never happen. This is impossible, blah blah blah. And I get it. Uh, but a lot of platformer, what it comes down to is what you can figure out the strats for. So if a lot of these things have consistent, for example, like I know that you can do that, even though that's a really hard input. Like I know. 
I understand how it works. I understand what to do. So it's possible. A lot of things may have solutions. It's almost like you're trying to solve a problem. And the, the question will be, like for example, this jump is a great example. This is looks really hard. You'd have to move out, out of it. But you can probably actually find the specific the specific thing you can be standing on. Like this is probably, I don't, I actually that would come in. So you, you can see like the left robot leg, maybe the, the left, I mean the right robot leg, the leftmost pixel is overlapping with the, the block or something. And then that wouldn't kill me or something. I could probably set that up every time. That's too far. Perfect. See, problem solved. That's, that's how it goes. You just find the way. It is, it is literally like a lot of it is just knowledge based. You just have to figure out what you're doing. Yeah. Another Scarlet Basement. Scarlet has win withers under, withers all those under its gaze. See, I want to figure out how those 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 uh, those double spikes work like that because I bet there's a way. And I just need to find it. All right, I can see that. Okay, so now we're on the outside section. The faster you go in the section, the easier it is. I can, yeah, I can just do that. Way easier than anything else. Uh, I don't think I found a way to do this consistently, actually. I, I wanted to like full jump from somewhere, but that like didn't end up working. Like I couldn't find a full jump. I think if I run until the end, it, if I run into like the middle, it works usually. But I don't want that to happen. That's the thing. Well, I did explicitly say run into the middle, I guess. Not the end. This is a hard timing. I'm not sure. But one thing, I'm sure that one has a setup. I'm not. I'm not concerned about that one. Uh, this one's probably just. Yeah, this is easy. The way that the spikes are set up. And then this is just. I wonder if I can just like land. I wonder if I could do that again, if I just like land really low on the uh, the block. It would not appear that it works that way. I just have to actually do this one like that. That's fine. This is definitely a, I can full jump from somewhere. I would bet everything, or at least run from somewhere and then jump into somewhere. This level's really cool, yeah. Like I bet if I like start here and then run. Yeah, look at that. Hey, that's what it's all about right there. Okay. So we, we have a setup for that now. And then light is restored. I think I jump high for this one. Yeah, I, I just jump high. And then I can do that again. And then I think for this one, I could just run off and then land. It gets significantly easier here, which is why the first half is gonna be way harder. Tim Justin, thank you for the sub. This is brutal. You gotta land on. Ugh. Sorry, I hate. I hate it where that put my um, put my checkpoint. This is really hard because you have to fall from such a high distance onto this. And that's that's something that I'm not used to really much. So I'm gonna have to get used to that. And then finally we have an ending ship section. This first part is very unforgiving, but then it gets much easier. And then it's just like a key collect part. This is gonna be really hard. You're gonna have to be really good to beat this, I think. That's This is like the hardest key collect like this one up here, honestly. This is no checkpoint, yeah. I think there's one down here. I'm not warm enough for the ship part right now, dude. I don't have the movement. I also just fall really far. I don't think the ship part is gonna require that much practice at the end of the day though. Like it's pretty much over. It gets really, really open here for the most part. Okay, and then we have this ending, which isn't that bad. I don't think it's really gonna be a problem at all. There's just this jump. 
this jump is really hard. It's like, this is the final real jump. And then I bet I can just like come up with a setup for this or something. So you want, you want to get this one running. That's just like a GD jump. Like we all know this jump. And then this is probably like a full hold from like here or something. Ah, uh, maybe it's not a full hold because you just get so much like right where it's momentum. Maybe you just literally want to just do it like that or something. And there you go. That's the level. No, no checkpoints. So that that's what we're verifying. It's gonna be hard. I don't know what why this is still happening. I actually don't know. It's just like that now. Okay, okay. So in terms of nerfs, I don't think we need to do that much. I don't think anything needs a buff at the moment. I don't know the the balancing. The balancing is good right now. Like it starts really hard and then it slowly like lets go, but you still have to like try really hard. That's like good. This needs to end. I, I'm sorry, but this is like this needs to go. Wizkid, have you seen this jump? This is not like This is not happening, this jump. I'll show you. Let me just show you real quick. I'm not gonna nerf much, but this needs to go. That jump is like, there's no way. You're right, maybe Wizkid could own this jump. I'm not sure. I, I had a setup for this. I just jumped into the... Uh... Keep it, it's in the beginning. Yeah, but it's not like happening. I don't think people understand. Like, it's not a matter of like, try really hard, I don't think. I think it's better if you just like, yeah. Maybe not. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, here's the problem with this, with this kid. This jump is not a thing. I seriously think this is like, like input perfect. Like you're not gonna be able to like do that consistently. It's not a thing. Looks easy. Yeah, it is. It's so easy. It's just not a thing. These spikes are clean. Yeah. But it's not even like, it wouldn't be fun. It just wouldn't be fun to like have to do this because it's like so. They're removing all spikes would nerf this level. I don't know. I guess, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not as convinced as y'all that this is a this is a consistent jump that you can do. Maybe I just did it like almost twice in a row there. Yeah. I don't think yeah, we don't need to like mega nerf it. We can just like shrink this spike a little bit. I don't know what layer this spike is on. I want to select all of them on. Okay, it's just on layer zero, I think. I think this is the entire composition of the spike. Even something like that would probably do the trick. Although, hold on. And they're probably like an invisible spike there because these spikes aren't like real or something. Yeah, hold on. No, why does it look weird? Like that doesn't look proper, yeah? Stop, become normal again.
We turn on hitbox. And I'm played. Right. Mm -hmm. I think it's linked to the actual spike. Well, this is moving Juan. This is moving this is moving the actual hitbox. I could also just like move it. Is that gonna overlap? No, I could also literally just move it up a, a little bit, like like the, by that. That might work out too, instead of actually shrinking. We can just see how that plays, real quick. Although I'll probably just to make it not look stupid, just do that the same to the uh, the spike. There's a checkpoint right there, so there's one jump you don't have to do every time. It's a really hard one too, so you guys should be happy. That jumps so hard, this one. I do I just literally want to no I don't. I wanna I wanna get like a running start to it. Please do not increase. Yeah, I'll probably just do what I did. That means I can probably just go up higher to do it. It's still not easy. I should probably just do it the exact same and see if it lets me through at any given point. I don't know, it's still, it's still this. I'm also worried it's just not going to be realistic for most players to do this because like I literally now have rapid trigger on my arrow keys and I am abusing it to make this jump happen like I'm I'm I am I have my my finger on the right key bottomed out and then I barely release it and press up and it basically makes it so I like don't press right for like a frame like I mean it's a top one there's a difference between like how do I put it? Just because something is hard doesn't mean it has to be unfair. Yeah, you need to say advice to beat this. I mean, I don't know. I'm li I, the, this is happening because I'm doing the, the rapid trigger thing. I could see if it's possible without rapid trigger. I, mean, I just did it with that rapid trigger, so I guess it's possible. Rapid trigger's not the reason. I don't know, maybe this does get consistent eventually. We can also just keep stuff in, and then as we actually go to play from the beginning, stuff that's just not working out, we can decide to change later. Well, it is possible without rapid trigger, I guess. We can actually go through right now and like actually rigorously test everything in this level. Like what is, is this jump really a thing? And if so, how does it happen the best? Because I'm trying to... I did it! Like, where do, where do I want to physically find myself doing this jump? What looks the best? Like, I just don't know, even. I want to jump as late as possible, and I want to see myself in the middle of those two spikes. That's what that's what I want to see. Like, that's too high. That was good. Alright. That's definitely not a- that's definitely not a, uh, a deal breaker right there. 
What's the best way to do this? That, I mean, it's probably, it's probably just for the best to like do a little short hop and then jump around on here. And then this curve back is difficult. Is there a visual cue I can get? Okay, do I want to entirely let go of right at that point? Yeah, I do. Can I jump in the middle of what? I see, I think I see the, uh, the visual timing for this. But it's hard still. I mean, I want to be the guy Deathless wasn't even like that bad, so yes. The thing is, I need to be starting on the same place every time on that, too, I think. Well, I'm not actually sure that it matters. This jump is quite difficult. I want to start from, like, back here, honestly. It feels better, more natural. Like that. But I don't want it to basically, I don't want it to come down to like luck whether or not I get through this gap. So I need to actually like feel it out. That was good. It's almost like I want to jump out as far as possible and then stop moving and then press left as soon as I can. Like that. It might, it might be cool to like add a little visual cues in the level if, you know. The problem is there's no there's no visual cue on the way down. Like I'm just like guessing. Hmm. Yeah, getting consistent at this would be insane. But it would be challenging for sure. I like the saws. It's very important that I stop pressing right at some point and then press left. Hmm. I just want to know like when to press left. Like when is it good? Do I have speed hack? I do. Maybe this could be useful. So if I jump and then stop and then press left, when do I want to press left? Like I stop there and then I press left where? Like, is there a good visual cue for this ever? Probably. I mean, that's good because I literally timed it. Bottom of the torch. That's like the only thing I have to go off of. So hopefully. I stop and then right there. Ooh, I like that. I like that. It's almost like I'm li I'm lining up with the torch and then pressing right at the bottom. I mean, left at the bottom of it. That's not a bad timing at all. Like, I, I, yeah, that's really good. Okay, so now we have we have a decent. Uh, it's still hard, but we have a decent visual setup for it. Which is really cool. Yeah. Is you just go through the middle and just strafe? Can you actually go through the middle? I doubt that's happening. You don't fit through that gap, y'all. Okay. I have a good visual visual setup for that now. Cool. What's the deal with this? Do we want to do that? Or would it just be easier to just like... I mean, that doesn't take like any effort to just like do this. So it's probably just easier to just straight up just do that, I think. Than getting like a complicated setup that might work half the time, might not other times. Just stop in place and take it slow. Like, okay. The problem is you just accelerate quite fast. Which is, you know, good. But in this specific case, Triforce. Yeah, the, the Triforce timing is going to be a thing. 
I think I just want to set myself up for the corner and just go for it. Like, if I'm dying to that spike, then I'm doing it wrong, I think. Yeah, I like that. Oh, but it's so satisfying to, like, avoid having to do this. To me. I forgot what my strat was for diagonals. I'm not even gonna lie. It's funny how I'm just worse at every diagonal. At least the diagonals in here aren't even hard, though. So this is insanely close to this. Which, I mean, I can actually figure that out using my robot. This means I'm kind of close to it. Yeah, if my if my eye is, like, cutting into the, uh, the spike, that means that I'm in the right place. But not too much further. Like, that's, yeah. The eye cutting into the block strategy is wild. Go in the middle of those three spikes. Yeah, I could probably fit in there. Maybe Task could. No, I don't think the gap is big enough. You can do insanely accurate small taps with the looting, it's crazy. So I wanna jump. The hardest part about this is by far the, I can just place a checkpoint here. I, I get how to set it up. Um, the hardest part about this by far is your jump height. Your jump height is by far the biggest issue here. It's almost like you have, you have to like full jump but not 100%. It's almost like when you see when you see yourself going in there, stop. And that doesn't work either. You have to actually do it. Yeah, you have to do like a 90% jump. It's really hard, believe it or not. And also you have to press right at like such a specific time. Uh, I need more water, by the way. I'll be right back. fire alarm this is this is brutal this is honestly because i don't even know where what i would do from like a uh, a visual setup perspective i feel like it would then be better to like move back and find a different place to do it is there a pl is there a, a place where i can full jump that doesn't kill me here it's going all right There's nowhere I'm gonna find that will allow me to full jump. Oh, the digging strat, yeah. Yeah, see, I can't really full jump from any of these places, I feel like. If I, if I could find a full jump strat, it would be the, the best thing ever. But am I in its current state? This is probably the only thing I'm looking at Oh, right now, also, that might need a nerf because I don't know. But I, I, I'm not ready to 100% give up on this yet. If you guys have any setup ideas, feel free to shout them out. If I could do this every time, then I'd be, I'd be in a good place. But it's gonna be hard. Like that. I mean, maybe, maybe this could work. It's quite a complicated strategy. I, 
I, I found a kind of visual timing for it. If I if I start pressing right when I'm at the base of the, the top spike, it works out. Or like 90% to the base of the bottom, on, on the, 90% uh, of the base of the bottom. Hello, Matt. All right. I think I I think this method will work out if I give it some more time. It's definitely challenging though. Then I can rest here for a second. Okay, I have visual set. I have visual setups for all of that. This jump is questionable. Let's see, and I want to find myself in the middle of those. But it's really challenging. I, I doubt it's easier to actually be standing on this. <sighs> Why? Why? Why would that be easier? That can't be easier. It just like doesn't for some reason, but it doesn't make sense. How can I possibly, that looks like, like an impossible Minecraft jump that you know can't be done, but I, and yet I did it. Like, and that's how I did it like every time I played through the level. It's like, what, what would make that easier than Do I have a visual setup for this? Because how would I ever? I just have to like... Definitely no running on it. No, there's no checkpoints. It just feels like a get lucky jump. I see the setup. It's just rough to have to do that deep in. I see the setup though. Like that. All this in one run, yep. We're getting we're getting real now. This is the I definitely want to full jump this. Line myself up with the brown. I don't want to slide off that block either. I wanna do like that. I love the length of the abyss. I hope we get more long levels as well. I mean, if I like, like here, let me mega, mega sweat that. A little bit further than the, the brown probably. Yeah. I mean, that works. Would you be allowed to put a little piece of tape on your screen? That's so, like, far ahead of where we are right now. I don't think we need to worry about that yet. That sounds like some, like, crazy, like, dashless plus Celeste, like, idea. Yeah, average parrot dash strap. What is the hitbox there? It's almost like I'm dying to the goddamn circle in the wall. More so than I am the actual spike. I don't know. And remember, it's almost always better to jump and then move. Like that. This is brutal. I don't think I don't think there's really a setup I can do for this. I just have to be better. And then move in here, and then this is just like a turn back. Oh, I want to be as deep into the block as I can. Same thing, I want my eyes cutting into the, uh, the thing. Setup for this is simple, just get past the spike and you're, you're golden. Yeah, I got a setup for that. This is just jump move. Like, it's basically the same as the Triforce jump, but like way easier. 
Do I want to just do this in one swift motion? Probably not, right? But I doubt I'm supposed to do it like that. Not that I don't really think Yuka cares how I get through the spikes, just that I do it. But I don't think that's gonna happen. The camera is too inconsistent for the tape strat, it's not static. So can I like, can I like land over here and then do like a jump midair and then press right or something? Like if I, on, if I land over here and then I go like, like, bam. Would that be fine? Yeah, absolutely help with strats. We're trying to figure this out. The music is loud. I made it loud today. I will definitely not be the solo on the stream, but yeah, feel free to help out with strats. I can jump up to that spike and then pull right. Maybe a little on the spikes. No, because of uh, the way the hitbox is, you can't close as you can get dead, so. Unfortunately. Yeah, that, that was my first thought too. So my 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 idea right now is to go in here and then jump until you're about to clip into the that spike, but don't, and then hold right. And then Yeah, the spike facing up you can just hold right off of. Yeah, I mean I'm not using physics bypass for a platformer just because it feels like like you like the way that the timings work like you want to have like you want to do it in this specific amount of frames this is this it would just make strats inconsistent and not really work the way i need them to work because platform mode being very deterministic is like a it's like a real thing that yeah i want to jump right okay i don't i'm not really sure yet uh i had a strat for this that'll work This one's easy, and then this is easy. Scarlet Basement. I don't think I want to like get a running start on that. That'd be too complicated. Just do it from back here. I doubt this has a setup. Cause the stupid text is in the way. At you go. It's not that. It's not that hard of a jump. But still, everything needs a setup if you can find one. It's the golden rule. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's not hard, really. I think we can worry about that much later. Like, we're not really. Yeah, for this one, I think you can just hold off of. Nope. Really? I guess not. I mean, I'm holding right. I mean, th this is an easy jump anyway. I can just go like, go like this, and then be fine. Just hit the, uh... Whatever. Same story here. This is where the level gets way easier. But then there's this, which is definitely a problem. Luckily, I think this is the only jump I really need set up for, because the level's gonna go, like, super dark in a second. The ship is a nerd ship. What do I want from this? I can do like middle of... Hmm. This is a really difficult jump. What made that work even? I'm using the spikes over it as reference. Okay. If I start holding in the middle of the third spike where the tip is, will that work? Yeah, I think so. Uh, that was too far to the, uh... Okay. I'm kind of getting a strap for this. 
Yeah, that, I mean, that works. For sure. Yeah. Okay, so just jump and then the, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, then this, I wanted to get a good strat for this. Like that. I want to start in the middle and then run and jump. And that'll work, I think. See, that? this is a brutal jump, believe it or not. Actually, let me get this out of the way because it was lighter here. I'll just quickly run into this corner and then place a checkpoint. The camera's the real enemy in this one. That's so hard to late into the run. The, the falling thing? I think I can... I'm, this is way harder, I think, than the falling thing. I think the falling thing is, like, fine. It's, like, I, I can see where to lemme so It's something that I could get good at. This? I'm not sure yet. Why does it... Why did it work? This might be something I end up nerfing a little bit. This is like, what? Wait, hmm? All of a sudden I'm doing it? Hold from back, jump as soon as you can. No. Now the, now the bottom's killing me. Damn, what the? It's just like such a hard timing, it feels like. How in the world would this ever get consistent? I don't know. I... We may have to nerf this one if I can't find a good setup for it. I'll check out what's down the pit. And nothing. Yeah. Don't worry, most of the level's not red at all. I'm like looking at the ground for like a pixel setup maybe. And I like do one tap. I'm like playing it like it's Minecraft now. Like one tap to write HH timing like. Nope, didn't mean to do that. But I'm. That's a good idea. Oh, they should add that. Look at me disappear, y'all. I'm going dark, y'all. Yeah, I need, I need that backwards momentum for this. Hey, any ideas, by the way, anyone? Yeah, I'll put some rank up. This seems like it's not gonna happen consistently. Even though I can do it, the issue is more just like, if there's no consistent setup, this is really late in the run for something with no consistent setup. I mean, maybe I can feel it out. Maybe. Right. Yeah, I thought that was late and it was actually early. Like, it's such a hard timing. At the very least, if you do it the way that I'm doing it. Is there any... No, you have to do it like this. What? Why? See, that, that's pretty baffling to me. I don't understand why that just worked. Huh. Line up with this. Hold right and jump, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. I'm trying to avoid this box as well as that. I'm trying. <laughs> Lining up with that spike, maybe a bit before and then I hold right for a second and... Pixel before, right and jump might work. Pixel before jump because there's this like pixel on the ground I can I can jump off of. What? 
I've never had this outcome. What is that? I've never had that outcome. Okay, that might actually work out for us. That might actually work. Okay. Okay, I think I think I'm actually satisfied with that. Believe it or not, I think I found like an actual setup for that. Is there a better setup for this other than just what I just did? Maybe that. Just just do it. Like just line up with that. And... Uh, that's not a hard time. Not a hard timing. That's actually crazy that I found a setup for that. I'm really I'm really proud of myself for that one. Be like, I want to just jump like this. What are even the hitboxes of these? Oh, I see. Her. I think this one's just the you do it part. I had a strap for this. I just. What was it? I was like. No, what was it? It was from back here. I started like. Here and then ran until the. Block edge. Damn, what? I literally already found this strat. I'm just trying to, like, re-find it. That was too late. Too late again. Jump a little bit before that. Nope. Red mode. Aurora mode. Oh, right, that was the strat. It was like... Line up with that, and then... Jump on your robot is perfect, perfectly aligned with... The, uh... With the last block. Or I guess a better way of putting it would be, like, when you're... Oh, this, this is brutally more difficult than the Abyss. I mean, today is literally just setup day. You know what I mean? Like, what? How consistent can we get at everything? We're just gonna, like, it's gonna be pretty boring, I think, for most people. We're just gonna be running it through, trying to figure out what can happen, what can't happen, and why, and you know, all that sort of thing. Like, it's gonna be real boring if you're not ready for that sort of thing. We're not gonna be like going for any massive, giant, jaw-dropping runs. We're gonna be figuring out what works and why. This is, I think, just run and full jump from there. I don't think where I jump really ma Oh, it does totally matter. I don't want to hit that. Uh, I'm not, I don't know. It seems fine to me. And then I could wait here for the, uh... Yeah, this is, this is hard. This is probably going to take a long time. I don't know the actual time it's going to take, but it won't be a short not, it will not, it will for sure not be a short endeavor. So just prepare yourself for that. I think this area is like chill, honestly. I don't want to come at it running. I just have, definitely would want to do that. It's very important that I just don't hit the, uh, there's more, yeah, but we're almost done with the level. Overall, I'm so far happy with the strats I've been able to find. I wonder if there's a better way to do that. Oh, I just ran my head into the wall. Can I just fall off this one? Oh, well, let's go. This this is what the one you were, this is the one you were thinking about. You can just fall off of this if you have enough uh, leeway to run. I think. And this section is just like one part, which is this. Because of that. Which is really no finding a setup for, it's just what it is. Restore light to this land. And this is the don't don't choke ship.
Ugh. That, uh, that's so hard, that part right there. If you could just get past, like, the first few of them, you're chilling. Yeah, I'm not exactly a jetpack uh, prodigy either. I'm definitely better at literally anything else, but this, this one isn't that bad. Yeah, this is this is really hard. I'm trying to do this this part all in one go right now. Why not? I literally just have to get past it for just a few keys. And tap on the way down so that I think really this is just a slow and steady wins the race sort of thing. Like I went too fast there. I could just like do stuff like that. I did not mean to throw a checkpoint there. But yeah, I recommend that you guys all get comfortable because this is not... This is not the abyss. This is not... This is new, and I hope to, with verifying this to bring us into a new era of difficulty. Let's go, we did that ship part. I'm so good. We just got this cube left. Oh, that jump is so hard. Just gotta run at it, just get lucky. I know, I'm so good, I did like the easiest part of the level. It's just literally like, do not choke, please, section. Yeah, it's really cool. I don't think that it's gonna be that big of a deal to, uh, to do this cue when the time comes. I could be wrong. I could be an idiot and just totally mess it up. I wouldn't put it past me. Like, at all. <laughs> don't want to die here. Really don't. I'm probably gonna be like mega sweating this when I actually get here, so I'm less worried about it than I am now. Like, I don't know, I could, I could do this. This ship part, see. Totally a thing that I'm capable of doing. I did not mean to set a checkpoint, I just actually hit it. Cause I'm actually using my, my uh, my X key now. I'm able to use it, which is hype. No, no checkpoints on this. This ship part is so. This beginning is so, like, screw you, you know what I mean? It's just, like, so evil.
it's really interesting to like come up with like sudden movements in the ship to like save yourself. But this is the end of the level, like this is the it. You know what I mean? Damn it! Ugh! Yeah, I can actually leave, so. Okay, well, I'm satisfied enough with this section for now. We can just work our way back and see what's possible in other places. Yep, so I just, I better nerve control it up, you know what I mean? This, this is brutal. I don't think there's a, a way to not, like, to actually set this up really. You know what I mean? Like, this is, this is what it is, I think. Yeah, I'm, I am nerve control goat. Damn, dude, landing on the side of that is so hard, dude. You just have to do it, man. You just have to get it done. Checkpoints are kind of stupid in top one because the ones with more free time will win. Yeah, but I think Rob is going to add like a, uh, a thing in the future. So I don't think I don't think it's going to be a problem forever. It's low. This is actually low key the hardest level of all time right now. Like it's so hard. Oh, there's a spike there. You can't just run in all gung ho like that, you know. Better to just wait for it to appear. Going for runs of sections will help me identify what's really consistent and what's not. Like, cause you know, if you just like one jump everything, obviously everything becomes kind of consistent. But if you don't, then the different story. I know that that's not consistent, but I'm not nerfing that. If you see yourself land on that, that's it. You know what I mean? Well, we need we needed a new top one. We're way better than the abyss now. We have been for a very long time. It's okay. This won't even be hard in like six months somehow. Gotta love how the rooting feels, man. Did I like enable hitboxes on accident for a second? So there was like a red line that appeared everywhere. It was weird. It's gonna be really interesting. Okay, man. You're the best. Diagonals this late didn't make me nervous. I am not the diagonal guy. You think this would be similar to a classic? I guess we'll have to see how many hours it ends up taking me. And also what the final state of the level is eventually going to look like. It's going good. We're just we're just working working our way through. I tried to like correct myself, but that's not how that not how that kind of jump works. Try my worst skill set is landing on those small ass guys right there. I don't have the vision for them. I just figured any ship practice I can get is probably good for me. Wow, you didn't get the thing. And then I was like, how do I save myself? And I couldn't.
I have to say, this is extremely daunting when I'm trying not to think about it too much because it will eventually come together if I just, you know, if I just do it, it will come together. You know what I mean? Even if it takes a very long time. We'll get there. Yep, just do runs until they're string together and you win. It's really easy. Maybe orb would fit. Where is the orb that would fit better? Where? You mean that where that pad is? I don't know. You could probably place it there for a reason. It's easier to control yourself going up better than it is to go down, which is, I think, obvious to everyone. This section's way easier than any other section in the level, like, by a measurable amount. I don't know, I'm not gonna super force runs right now. I just wanna... It's good to play the end of a level a lot. Because, well... You know... Yeah, moon grinding is ridiculously fun. There's just an, it's a new experience every time you do it. There's always something different going on. You play that that one like rhythm game one, the only actually good rhythm game GD thing I've ever seen. I don't I don't remember what it was called. It was so fire, dude. No, it was called like I don't even remember like beat something I think. Beat Ninja, yeah. Beat Ninja was sick. I really enjoyed it. You guys should totally check that out. If you guys haven't, definitely worth the uh, the play. Always something different going on right moon grind. You need to do a pretty hardy click to get into that gap successfully. Probably isn't worth just. Nope. I tried to press X. Why didn't it work? What the hell? I'm confused. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, it wasn't very hard. But it was fun. Okay, this section's kind of a nothing section in terms of the things we actually have to care about here. I think it's just like. Be high up. Oh, can I actually just like straight up like. Mm, I don't like that. I'm gonna put a spike there, I think. Or, like, make it so you can't stand there, at the very least. I don't think you should be able to stand there. It just makes- it just makes the jump smoother, I think, if you can just go, like, bam, you know? As opposed to landing on something. Oh, because you left the game unpaused. Yeah, you're kinda ass. One hour and that's wild. Maybe you shouldn't have left the game unpaused. Kind of embarrassing, if you ask me. And you should ask me, I'm important, so. My bad. You guys know you can actually go down there for a secret. You can't, actually. As soon as I can see the red pad, I know what to do. Oh, I see, that's how it works. Aurora, Aurora. I played Give Up? No. Is that like the one game? You guys know what I mean, right? The one game where it's like trying to get, and then every time you get to the next stage, it's like you won't or something, and then it's like, 
Yeah, like with the spikes and the floaty physics, and you have to stop it. No, not getting over it. Like, oops, don't take that. I mean, wait longer than that. You're, it's not. A, it's not a race here. I just don't like stopping. You want to know what the worst things? The one of the worst things you could do in a long deathless uh, thing. Not not a long deathless, but anything that's hard is stopping. Stopping is terrible for you. It's so bad. Your nerves do not like when you stop in place. Trust me. I know not all of you play hard deathless stuff, but it's brutal. I have never come back from pausing and felt like I always feel so shaky and jittery. Cause I'm in like in a zone, whatever I'm going for, and I stop, and then my brain is like, uh oh, no more stimulation, must think about other stuff. Oh, and it's over. This is a surprisingly hard jump, actually. Been 45 minutes thus far. Yeah, I'm gonna end up spending like probably like I don't even know how long. It's not worth speculating right now because we don't know yet. Well, I did do the blind golden room first try. If we discount them, you know, you know. I am the best. No, that was the first try. I didn't die to my own way. I died to a new way. Okay, well, let's stop in place, though. If we can. Not before the block is actually ideal. And you gotta run and do that. <laughs> Clunkus Gunkus. New guy on my friends list. Sometimes my friends just change their name. And then it's new. You know? I think this is gonna be really satisfying when I learn it though. Like to actually do. I just think it's gonna be sick. Nope, not at the mall at 12.30. I was not awake at 12.30, so that, that should immediately rule that one out. I need to not let that happen. Decade. So you definitely ain't no kid no more than one decade. I don't actually know how old you are. If you've been on the internet for a decade, you can't be that young. Nice. Oh, his name has a clue. <laughs> I just didn't. Yeah. I guess I, I'm no Sherlock Holmes. That was not my brightest moment. I was just like, random number. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry for being so dumb. Can you guys forgive me or is that not really okay? What the hell, what is this? Why do I have so many checkpoints here? Stop setting checkpoints, me. Just like that will work. Yeah. Some of my favorite songs are uh, on are in the game now. Uh, you guys ever heard of FM Synthesis Experiment by Camilla? 
I guess knowing what I know about Japanese now, it's definitely Camellia, right? Like 100%. No other pronunciation. like Comedia, because, you know, the no L thing. Damn you! I'd rather be bold or be a nerd. I mean, you could definitely argue I'm a nerd, man. And what's, what's your definition of a nerd? Cause I bet, I bet you could find a description that matches me, if you look hard enough. Well, yeah. No, why do I keep doing that? Well, I'm just rushing. I need to stop rushing. That would probably help a lot. I need to wait here. Matt Pat analyzed Hello Neighbor. Yeah. That's just Comedia. And the pronunciation isn't any different, right? People can be bold at a really young age. If I got my uncle's gene, it would have been really bad. Like, really bad. Like, bold by 23 bad. And that's just like a gene thing. I need to actually practice that. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I thought it was just like intuitive, but I keep failing it. So I should get like an actual setup for it. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. I I I don't know what the motivation is for using Hiragana. That show might just look cooler. See you, it's good. Okay, this is also actually something I want to do. Is that easier? There's no way. Just time it. Or I could just do that and it'll work every time. Cause I won't, I can't hit my head on the ceiling. Yeah, that's that's an e that's an easy decision right there. Thank you, multi-activate orb. I'm very surprised that I hit my head on this. Is it possible to hit my head on the ceiling? It is, but it'd be hard for me to do. How Katakana feels putting two smiley faces in their lexicon. I'm like, she looks up and Sue looks down. That's my strategy for that. Which is like, it's the only time I ever had to use any sort of learning device. What do I want out of this? Like, I'm trying to find like a better way. Like that is, that's pretty good, honestly. Like, mm, look at me go.
It's also probably true that if I just get a running start, I'll have more momentum and probably make it. I don't know, she is just like, ah, and Sue is like, mm, you know what I mean? The god of ship, damn it. I was gonna be the god of ship, but I got interrupted by my lack of skill. But it's fine. I can I can start way further back than where I'm starting from. It's the conclusion I'm drawn from this. Like way further back. Well, I'm not trying to actually do the ship section. I would slow down if I was trying to, like, super mega do it. You know what I mean? I have. In fact, my I Want to Be the Akron video, my second channel, has, like, 170,000 views. And a lot of the comments are like, this guy is weird. I'm just like, what? Why are so many people clicking on this video? Like what is going on? It was like a, it was like a weird thing to to find out one day. Parrot dash. You're right. There is no dash in my name. Very astute. Yeah, I can I can pretty much do that at any at any I can just like line up all the way on that. And then that just works out. Pretty damn cool. Maybe say so myself. Although that entrance is always gonna be kind of hard, I think. Hmm. You know, I see that. Okay. Especially with the with with uh, Sue, that's very helpful for Sue. This jump is way harder than it looks, man. Like this jump is an, an actual ass kicker. Is there any way to get more consistent at it? I wonder. Like, it's so hard. Like, it legitimately is so difficult. Halloween as a child nostalgia vibes. Alright. It's just so hard! Yeah. I always do that too, like, bad. FNAF 88. It's the newest installment. It's really, really bad. All creators are facing federal jail time. Damn it! I need to. I, I want to put something there, so you can't do that. Just for that reason, also alone. Like I don't want it. That's just an unsatisfying way to go. Especially this late in the level, like you just landed on the block. Really? I couldn't watch or play FNAF. It freaked me out too much. I can do it now that I'm an adult, but it's not that cool to me because I don't play it as a kid. It's just like, I made it if I survived, or oh no, I got jump scared, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. When I was a kid, things scared me more because my brain was developing. But now my brain's developed and I'm less scared of things. But I still don't like, I don't like horror. It's not fun for me. It's not a fun time. I don't have fun playing it. It's usually just not a great experience for me. It just makes you feel uncomfortable. And I, I don't really like feeling uncomfortable. It makes you feel uncomfortable when I'm uncomfortable. Damn it. Where the hell? Where? <laughs> you guys, where am I on the screen? Can you find me? Am I an idiot? Where am I on the screen? Oh, there I am. Okay. And I couldn't find my son. I couldn't figure it out. I literally didn't know. I couldn't find my son. I thought that that was part of the decoration that was moving. I'm so lost. Like, God, that jump is so hard. Why? I'm really a big fan of the wooting thus far. I kind of feel like de-rusting my mania now. Not now, now. I mean, like, in the present day, I, I want to de-rust my mania because uh, I haven't played it in a long time. But now that I have this keyboard, it's like a different feeling game. And I want to experiment with it. I got the wooting 2 HE. We don't got no keyboard command up in here. Sorry to say. It controls pretty ridiculously, I'll admit. I thought I was gonna have to like get used to it more, but no, it's just insane. The Apex Pro is much louder, it's much more direct, it's more like here's what I'm doing with my fingers and it makes this happen. But like, the way that this keyboard feels is very different, it's very like, muted almost. Which sounds like a bad thing, and I thought it was going to be a bad thing. Like, I was, when I first saw the keys, I was like, oh, this is gonna be no good. You know what I mean? I was like, this is not gonna be the way. For me, so is easy because I'm like, does the, does the dot connect? Like, could you connect the dot with the line? You know what I mean? If you can connect the dot with the line, then it's so. Otherwise, it's mm. That's my strategy, anyway. And then... Yeah. I don't know. Katakana is definitely harder to learn than Hiragana though, because like, it's so blocky. And there's so many different like, Ro and Ko is a good example. You got the box versus the almost box. Rod Train, thank you for the sub. You, you know what I'm saying, like. There's a ton of similar characters. Yeah, this level's pretty short, so all, all these runs matter, so. We're, we're just, right now, we're more just, like, figuring out. We're not going for runs for the sake of let's beat the level right now, because it would be too difficult and too strenuous. Like, I'm not putting 100% effort into everything. I'm just like, what is consistent? What is going to be consistent? What do I need a better shot for? What's not airtight, basically, is the, uh, the, the current way of thinking. I'm not, I'm not satisfied with that jump at all. She? Isn't she like... I mean, I can't say it with my... I I don't know what I was going to attempt to do, but I can't explain it with my uh, words. Mm -hmm. 
I thought about the character in my head. I was like, error. No way to explain it. I don't think that there's an actual showcase of this public yet. What will I do when this isn't top one anymore? What does that mean? Probably just play the next one. Let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, this, but I actually have a setup for this now. It's a little scuffed, but I figured out a way. Why is that happening, though? Well, okay, so I need to be further to the spike on the right, I think, is what that means. Yep, still true, man. Nothing changed. I don't know. That's the one thing about the human brain I just cannot understand sometimes. It's like, I will tell myself in plain terms, hey, this does not work. Don't do it again. And what do I do when I get over there again? I do it again. Does anyone... I, I, I'm sure we all have that issue because we're all human. But it's like, it's so confusing to me why this happens. It's like, it's like our brain thinks that it knows best. Dragon, thanks for the sub, man. Appreciate it. Like, we're like, hey, brain... So this is the logic part. I've thought this through pretty well. If we do the same thing we did again, it won't be good. We'll die. So let's not die. And then it's like, okay, yeah, sounds good. And then we get over there and then it's like overriding, overriding, check out this move. And then we die in the same way. And it's like, huh? It's almost like I told you it wouldn't work that way, man. And that's how you get mad at yourself because you were mad at yourself. Like very literally. Like I told you, bro, I was, I was, I warned you, man. God. I mean, we can literally look at the hitboxes there so I can get a better idea of what I'm actually doing. You see, you can go so far into this spike. Like you don't have to like be worried about it. No, and you're definitely right. Like, so much, because that's our subconscious, like, trying to fill the gaps for us so that we can focus on other stuff. We'd be terrible at a lot of stuff. Our brains are rigid for a reason. Some brains more rigid than others, admittedly, such as my own. I'm very, very, very stubborn in terms of uh, muscle memory specifically. I've gotten better as like a person when it comes to stubbornness, but like in terms of actually how the brain handles muscle memory, it's still I'm still just as bad with it. My brain is it's like extremist about it. If that makes any sense. Nice, dude. Really nice. Hey! No! That was really good. That was really good. Like, that's actually a, a sizable chunk of the, of the red part. Pretty much. Like, if I'm not mistaken, the red part pretty much starts so you can see where it starts. We're in here already. I just pressed back a few times. So the red part is kind of just like the don't choke world, more or less. Ironic, yeah, this is this is the beginning of the red part, by the way, chat. So we are really getting close to making something happen in that regard. It's inspired by nothing. Go home. 
inspired by awesomeness and frivolity. Let's practice that jump now. Always be pressing right too long. In the world if I actually... Okay, so I can go like pretty much all the way into that. Full jump, a little bit for, far away from ball, do it, middle, yeah. Yeah. Tidal wave redecoration. Do I even need to say anything, chat? Can you, you guys know me. Come on. We don't even need to talk about it. You can literally instantly download everything I'd ever say about that topic in your brain without me having to say a word. And if you can't, then you don't know me at all. Like, you know exactly what I... So the strap for this is uh, to jump, and uh, well, let me let me do it from here, so that I don't have to keep inching forward. Although, what what is the setup for knowing where you're at? Ugh, when the camera does that, it sucks. Let me get rid of it. I don't I don't want to be low visibility here. That's the shroud right there. Bam. <sighs> I don't know. I think everyone's going nuts. Why are we all so mean to each other right now? Like, it's crazy. That's one thing that I'm really frustrated by. That's why I got so mad at the guy in chat who came in and was, like, telling me how much of a loser I was for the physics bypass thing. Like, what happened to just rationally discussing, like, things? What, what about this topic is so, like, let's yell at each other as loudly as possible? Surely we could rationally discuss this, right? Like, like, all of it. But even even with even with Tideway, people are like being vicious right now. People are being crazy. Yeah, Michael Keen. I don't actually feel like doing it. I can send you a screenshot of my exact thoughts. So I don't have to deal with it right now. Hold on. If I could just find the... Uh... Like if, you, if you really want to read about it, I can just really quickly get you... Just as a conversation, let me just blow the other guy out. I think this this covers it pretty. Impact yourself. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Wait, how do I save this? Uh, I guess, yeah. Well, I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm not a computer whiz. Gallery. Probably a gallery thing. Yeah. 
Okay. Does that work? Can you guys see that? Is this a real thing? This is like a, a rational, actual conversation I had with someone last night. And that's pretty much my whole thoughts about it, because I don't feel like actually discussing it. Is he? Is he? And don't actually talk about it here. But. Oh, I didn't actually have anything. I'm sorry. I was just saying names randomly. Forgive me? This is actually getting consistent for some reason. This jump is definitely the thing, but outside of that, I mean, we're doing it. We are doing it. It's what's happening on the screen. More or less. No, why did I do that? I, I always start before I get to the, the thing. So in actuality, that's what I actually have to do. And this is insanely fun thus far, by the way. Did you hear about the bees? The bees? What do they have to these days? Oh, there's bees in my home. There's rats in my walls. Centipedes are crawling around the floor. Yeah, I did hear about that. I think one of my biggest, like, not a fear, it's just something I really wouldn't want to happen, is if I ever found a hornet's nest in an area I actually live. Like, somewhere that I reside in. Can you imagine? That'd be so bad. That's a good, that was a good job. Hey, I'm really I'm really proud of my my current performance on this. That's enough though. Your know, hornet's nests are crazy. Why am I not full jumping? Do you want to die? Like. So I, I don't think any of this really needs to be nerfed at this current point. Like, I am doing it. I am actually doing it. So that's really exciting. That jump is still one of the hardest jumps in the whole damn thing, though. It's like in the middle of those spikes. What's going on in my headphones? Am I buffing anything? I don't... I don't think so. I mean, this is... Maybe, but... Well, let, let's see when we start to getting actual runs. So far, I like this, though. I really like the current balancing of this. Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, because I've been chugging water. Just a quick heads up. This is really super fun this far. This is the fun part, so...
<sighs> my stomach exploded. That's my bad. That is my bad. I am sorry. It was not... Not fun. When I'm back... Oh. Not fun! Do you hear me, chat? Okay. I don't really need to sweat this run right now. Not really my biggest concern. My biggest concern is what is possible and what is not. That's way too far to the... Crater asked me, but I had asked prior uh, to the general community to verify something. It was a mutual, mutual decision. And so that's a surprisingly difficult jump with that thing in the ground. No checkpoints. You just gotta do it. This would be really easy with checkpoints, I think. Or not easy at all, but like, compared to what it actually is. Like, yeah, at least spikes have default hitboxes. This is just what you can do with them. You can go really far into them. See, spikes are just boxes, if that makes sense. Like, I'll show you. Look, they're just bike. They're just boxes. You're just trying to avoid the boxes. That's why diagonals look the way that they do. No, even with checkpoints, this would still be an extreme. The, the setups I've had to come up with are not insane level material. These are some diff these are some genuinely difficult, uh, genuinely difficult setups I found. I think to find and to understand, because that's a lot of what that's a lot of what platformer skill actually is. Regardless of like your actual physical ability, it's the ability to find strats that work for you. Because everyone's a little bit different. And everyone's going to find a, a different way to approach certain obstacles. But you need to have a game plan. Alright. We're done with the section for now. And we got to deal with these starting now. So that's fun. Yeah. It's gonna be really funny in the verification video because it's gonna be like, well, probably not actually, because I'm not gonna be doing it all. Like, I'm not gonna like, I, I was gonna say it's gonna be really funny because the timer starts at like zero and there's a checkpoint like after one jump and that's the only checkpoint. So it's gonna start at like zero and then jump up to like 30,000 or something. But you have to beat this deathless. This is, this is deathless only. That's not really a thing. Because I'm probably just going to, you know, have a day. I, the day I beat it on, I'm probably not going to be playing for that long. I'm, it's probably going to be... You all know how these things work, right? What actually is going to happen is I'm going to have one of those days where I'm getting really close over and over and over and over and over again. I get really mad at myself. Like, why can't I just do it, man? I know it's possible. I know why can't I just make it happen? And I'm really upset and I'm really mad at myself. And then the next day I just do it in like 1,000 seconds. And then it's like, oh, I guess I just had to this and this and this. It's the same story every time. It's ironic that the ability to be self-aware of that doesn't actually stop it from happening ever. It just, it's a constant loop of that every time I go for any, like, hard thing. It's just like, it's, it, this is the way it has to be. I don't understand why. <laughs> like, it's, it's really funny if you think about it. Like, it's the exact same way every time without fail. And yet, I'm always surprised that it's the way it is. Like, am I an idiot? I don't understand. I pressed the Windows key. No lie. 
Yeah, sometimes my you know what? It would make me a better slush player if I just logged off the game when I was having a bad day. Like, I, it's not gonna help me. In my brain, I'm like, it will help me later. It probably won't, you know? That's what the click we're dying to. Yep. It's just, you know, it's like, it can't be escaped. You can have all the self-awareness you want, and you can't escape what will happen. Yeah, by far the best GD strat and best video game strat in general is going to bed and then sleeping for eight hours. There is no better strategy in the entire world than sleeping eight hours. You really want to beat that level? That's how you do it, bro. Go get some sleep. You're not going to beat it off of three hours of sleep every day, hyped up on coffees. No, 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 no. You're going to get too mad. You need to be good. You need to be healthy. Video games have made me so much healthier as a person, ironically, because I can't, because I'm so serious about it, you know what I mean? I'm so intense about it. So I'm like, I don't do things that like, will mess me up in that regard. You know? Video games are like the only reason during my lowest points that I would sleep consistently and eat consistently. And if I didn't do that, it would have been over. So I am so grateful. Yeah. No, no, that's just, that's how it is. That's the, <laughs> I know. We're probably not so different. Like it takes a certain kind of person. There's gotta be something specifically wrong with you in order to go for 90. Like. The brain was not meant to want whatever it is that we wanted at the end of that tunnel, I guess. I don't think. Whatever, whatever, whatever called us to it. So, whatever, whatever path we end up taking in life, it's probably not going to be normal in any real capacity. But that's fine. Still not satisfied with Celeste. I need to do something. I need to do something. I, I want something. I just I, I stretch myself too thin. Too many things I do. Right now we're only like this isn't very far into the level. But it is in, in terms of difficulty we're like 70% done. <laughs> like it's <laughs> the beginning is really hard. Gersh, thank you for the hundred bits. This will probably be a YouTube video. I'd imagine. I should upload something. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm not uploading. I can't describe it. I really should be. I think I just fell into the trap that like every YouTuber falls into where they like make too many bangers in a row and then they're like, I can't upload ever again. I won, I did it. But you're never actually done like that, bro. You know what I mean? I'm always just worrying. Well, my mentality is... Yeah, we waste eight hours a day sleeping, but I do it so that I can do the things I actually want to do. Uh, that's why I don't use my phone that much. Because that's just wasted time to me. Because I need to be grinding something for the sake of it. That's what it's all about for me. This part's so hard. Not unreasonable, but, you know. Screen time average? I don't know, let's check my phone. Where's my phone at? How much I got on my phone on average? Oh, my, my phone's currently on. 
I guess, so that it ripped my battery life. Screen time. I've been trying to get it up, which sounds like a joke, but it's not a joke because sometimes I don't know what the hell is going on, if that makes sense. And I want to know what the hell is going on. Okay, that's better. I'm up to like I'm up to like 30, 45 a day, which is much better than four. I was at four for like a month where I was, <laughs> I would not. And then like, here's the thing. People get mad eventually when you stop responding to everything. And then all of a sudden you got people like, hey, what the hell, you know? I don't know. Stupid ass Scarlet Basement jump. I got 30 hours on compass. Drop everything? No. You can't drop a keyboard. What? My brain. Why are we thinking about this? Do you, do you ah, There's no way anyone else did this. I went to this like... I was in this like weird school for a while. It was some, I think, I think it was like some, like, it was a public school. It wasn't like, so it wasn't like anything too out of the ordinary, but I just remember there was one day where we were all just like dropping watermelons off of the rooftop. Was that real? Why were we doing that? Why, my brain just like vividly like retained a memory of like 50 people dropping watermelons off of a rooftop when I was like very young. Why would we ever do that? That definitely happened. No, like that literally happened. Like, like I know, I know that my brain didn't make that up. Like, I there's too many elements that I'm sure are real about it. Yeah, I it's real. I swear it happened. Why though? What was the point? Do you remember that part? Why were we dropping watermelons off of the rooftop? That's it. That doesn't make any sense. I'm sick of this part. All right, we said we would just do that. Oh, right, this is set up. I wanna like jump up. Like that. No, it's not like egg drop. Like that watermelon was breaking. You know what I mean? Like. Because I know I know about egg drop. Well, I think the Scarlet Basement jumps are consistent. Like I I think that you can learn them, but I could be wrong. But the majority of this, I'm not gonna nerf anything immediately. I'm just more so gonna just because like all this is consistent. You can do this mostly every time. Like this, you can do every time. This you can do every time. Well, I guess not. Maybe I'm an idiot. This, which I feel like a twenty total audio students dropping watermelons off the roof. Okay, what's the science though? What was the science about dropping watermelons off of the rooftop? It just seems so uh, like I don't know why I'm thinking about it. Can I just walk off that? I wish. No, you can't. Even if you go back to its very most, which I'm pretty much at. Not a thing. Like it's not even like really close. Let's see. Stop. Maybe I can do something else. Ah, uh, I thought I, I thought I might be cooking for a second. I thought maybe I could like land and it would retain momentum. Scarlet basement. I think this works if you just 
If you believe in yourself, it works out. You gotta be- I think my problem is I'm not far enough to the, uh, the left most of the time and that I do that. So I die. Damn, that jump is really hard, you though, you're right! This is easy, I think. You just like... This is like the Triforce jump, but easier. Like that, you do it like that. A catching contraption? Yeah, I don't remember enough details to tell you if that's a thing that we did. I do remember watermelon splattering, though, so I don't think that if... I don't think I was successful in my mission. I was so bad at those, by the way. Like, any engineering feat, my stupid hands are not capable of creating, like, sturdy structures. If that makes sense. Nine. <laughs> I'll make that one. I'm really sorry I couldn't make it. I, I that that is totally amazing. I really wish I knew that. Uh, like I really wish I looked at all. Why can't they just make it at like 5 p.m.? Okay, let's actually practice this, this, this Scarlet Basement jump. Oh, I, I like, want to jump late. I was, like, doing them just fine earlier. What gives? Like that, yeah. Ooh, look at me. This is actually a pretty crazy spot to be hanging out. The double downwards plane? What the hell is that? I don't know the terminologies, to be honest with you. Never too high. Yeah, for the most part. That's at least that's what that is. That that was too low, that one was just right. Like I want it to like catch me. Like that. Like I want I wanna like I want it to like land I wanna like land in the inside of that. My soul focus should be getting to the middle of that gap. If that makes sense. Why did I move so late? No! You're all lowercase? You're... Oh my god. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. I, don't, I think this jump is... is good. Yeah, I mean, hitboxes... I feel like they actually mess me up. Like, I, I don't... Like, looking at them is not how I'm doing them at this point. If that makes sense. Like, I don't think I can do it. Like, I can, but it's it doesn't, it doesn't, like, feel right. You know what I mean? No clip might be a really good solution to this, actually. Because with no clip, what actually happens is the spikes no longer have a hitbox. I think it's also important, like, when I jump, also. I need to jump, like, late. I can't do diagonals, and that's really sad. But I'm actually so good at this game! This is actually nuts. What? Oh! No way! That was a really good run, chat. That was actually nuts. I did, like, all of the difficulty of the hard set- of, like, the, the red section and this. That was a goaded run. Yo! That was crazy, dude. That was wild. I don't know why I died where I did, but... You can't always get what you want in life. Yeah, just kinda jump, like, right there.
This is the last one of these, I think. I'm really happy with that run. I'm just happy in general, honestly, because this is fun. <sighs> what are we talking about? We were talking about something, and I'm not trying to remember what it was, but it, like, it was stupid. Whatever we were talking about was stupid. Oh, we're talking about watermelons. Never mind, who cares about that? Watermelons. The one thing I do miss about school, and I really don't miss much about school, is just like random events. That was sick. Like it was just like whenever you'd be like chilling in class and like it would come over the speaker like everyone to the like gymnasium now. Everyone, the whole school, we're all going there. Like that was always crazy. Like there was always just a small chance that like things would just happen. It was hype. Oh, this stupid ass. Jump. I remember once um, there was a, a, a uh, everyone in the entire school was called to listen to a lecture about uh, not saying a certain word. And uh, that was about the worst presentation I've ever seen in my life, rivaling Dare. Because that, what that presentation actually did is make it so I pretty much only heard that word for like a month. No, I'm good. I don't need to give an example of that word. Yeah, it was really good. It was like the worst present. I was like, I was like, even at that age, I was like, are you an idiot? <laughs> like, what is the goal here? What is going, what, what is the best case scenario? I was like, oh yeah, I'm 12 years old. I'm going to stop this now. This is good. No. That's not going to happen. That's not going to work. It was it was a doomed mission from the start. It was just like it was just like nice, man. Good job. Oh, check me out. I'm so good. Really unmatched. Actually, that's easy, I think. I think it's actually easy. Yeah. That's just legitimately easy. You just do it! Trans actually thank you for the raid. Yeah, that's that's a good point. I, I Yeah, just like a... Just like a, look guys, we're totally trying to stop this thing, you know, as well. Dare is really bad. It's so bad. <laughs> Ugh. Watch this. Ooh! Ugh. I can't do it. Yeah, Dare made it so much worse, man. Yeah, Mitch, it's the ultimate truth about streaming. That's good. Actually, that's good. Moving moving further to the uh, moving further over is definitely the play. I'm not sure how hard this is. Really, we're still feeling it out. It's definitely a work in progress.
uh, don't do drugs because, um, uh, just don't, okay? Please believe me. Like, really? Are you serious? I, I, I can't believe it, dude. I think, I think the thought process was back in the, whatever, like the 90s, I guess. Um, authority was respected more. So they, I think they just kind of expected everyone to be like, yeah, the, the big guy said it, let's not do it or it'll be bad. My theory. I thought that was a death, no lie. Yeah. Uh, I had a strap for this. Was it this? Was this part of the strat where I'm standing right now? Actually, it probably was. I can probably just like run off of this. Wait, no, I can't because. Oh! Well, you can't get chemically addicted to marijuana, but you can get psychologically addicted to it. So I wouldn't say his description is accurate, but he is addicted. Does that make sense? Like, you don't, it is different, but, but. You know. It's a drug, just like the rest. What the hell do you do here? But did, did I ever have a strap for this? It feels like this is impossible. Like you could never, ever, ever do it. Like, do you just have to jump into that corner? I mean, that's probably fine. I just need to not be a loser and just do it. Yeah, that's fine. Although I guess I should mention that the description of uh, physically addicting isn't really uh, waterproof because I think it is definitely true that you get uh, marijuana withdrawals. I've definitely heard of that before. So it's hard to say it's not, but it, I don't think it actually physically changes your brain in a way that can't be unchanged like other stuff. That's kind of the main point. And you're not at risk of dying i think i don't think anyone's ever died from that it seems unlikely because then you would consider it well soda is actually addictive soda is like so soda is chemically addictive that's a big difference hmm okay That part's really hard. Because <laughs> of the saw on top. Like, you gotta be so careful, bro. I gotta figure out where I'm actually starting. Yes, that is true. That is the one, uh, that is the one actual permanent effect of heavy, heavy marijuana use, is you, your short-term memory can be impaired. I think that is true, well-known. Studies have been done. But the same studies have shown that's the only that's the only real effect, I think. No, you can't you can't overdose on weed because of how the brain how the brain uh, intakes it. Specifically, it doesn't um, build up. Like you're not going to get a toxic buildup of like THC or anything like that. It just like waits in line <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> Your brain only has so many receptors for it. Uh, your brain only has so many receptors for it. So when you when you intake more than the amount of receptors, it pretty much just waits. I don't actually know where it waits, but I know that it isn't toxic. 
I think it's just kind of hanging around in the brain until it finds the receptor to bind to, and it, it doesn't build up in any toxic manner, I think. I don't want to... Like, you know... Wait, Dash was plus first segment silver? What? That's nuts. No, no, we're not talking about like how cool drugs are or anything like that. We're just talking about like, like chemical stuff. And kill with vaping. Uh, it might have something to do with the heavy metals or something like that. I know vapes are very good for you. I'm not. I'm definitely. Not, we're talking about the dangers right now. Yeah. Wait, I gotta go to the bathroom anyway, though. I'll be right back. It, some of it can end up in your liver. Yeah, but it's not, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's toxic like other stuff is, right? Please fact check me if I'm wrong. I don't know everything about it. It is definitely something I want to know everything about though. I find, I, I, I mean, you see how much I talk about it. I don't really do anything. I just find it fascinating. Like, honestly, I really do. All of it is fascinating to me. I can't explain why, but it really, it really is to me interesting. You know? Just kind of move over that way and then... I mean, the, the human brain and body is just fascinating and then we, ha we came up with these ways to like do weird things to it. It's weird. It's weird. The whole thing is weird, man. Is it not? Like, it, like if you really break down what the hell we're doing, it's it's fascinating. It's really nuts. We're really just because, like, the thing about most of them is it's just like it's not like they themselves are doing anything. It's just like a specific set of chemicals that like your brain has like code for, and it sees that and it's like, oh, gotta change this and this and this and this. It's nuts. It's crazy. It's like we're hacking our brain with these different, like, like commands. Like, what the hell? I don't know. I just think it's stupid cool. Yeah. This section is quite brutal. There's not actually that much before, I don't think. We can actually go back and look. I'm kind of curious how far we come. The starting goal is so easy. It's gonna be a really interesting field in the next, I think I think in the next, uh, the next century. We're getting closer and closer to changing our brains. 
and changing our entire bodies, really. We're figuring out, we're figuring out basically the admin codes to this whole thing. And the results of which will be, I don't know what the results of which will be. It'll be fascinating, though. Nope, that's not where I want to be. I did nerf this jump, but it really doesn't matter. Like, it's still just as hard. It's so hard, man. Uh, I don't understand it. So now we do it, dude? Yeah, I can keep it like that. All right, I had a setup for this. It was like, it was like uh, this, I think? It was like end and then in at bottom of torch, but that's not working how oh, it is working. I moved a spike up by like one little step. I'm gonna start close to the jump, I don't have to stutter through it. You mean the hard one? Cause I definitely do. I, I, you have to get a running start on that one. Like that. This is still really challenging, I feel like. I don't know how much I need to nerf it. It's like the fourth click in the level, honestly, and it might work out. But we'll see. We'll see if it, if it gets really annoying. I mean, my experience all, is gonna dictate a lot of what I nerf and buff and everything. You know what I mean? I love messing that up. I going into the thing, I can actually tap it one more. Yeah. This is a this is the 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 timing right here. It depends. I plan on this taking me like no less than a week. I think this is gonna be hard. I want this to be hard. Like re I want it to really challenge my um, my knowledge of the uh, the mood. If that makes sense. This will look so bad, but it's gonna be a hard platformer sucks. Well, what do you want? What do you want out of platform mode? Because I see this sentiment a lot, but not a way to actually do anything about it. I think this is awesome, personally. What is it about Robot that you don't like, specifically? Because at the end of the day, it's the most precise game mode. It stops the fastest. You have uh, control over the height of your jump. These are all things that make for very good platformer levels. Cube, let's, I mean, let's go through, let's, let's literally go through the game modes, okay? Cube is a robot, but you can't control the jump height. You jump the same, you jump the same height every time. So it's basically just a less, like the skill ceiling is a little bit less higher with the cube. Uh, and the cube also moves a little bit slower, like, and, and, and it stops a little bit slower. Um, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit more clunky than, say, the robot. The jetpack is, I would argue, the second most used game mode already, and there is indeed one in this level. So even if it's skill expressive, is uh, it's not as skill expressive, but it's still used quite a lot, right? UFO, that's something that we could also use a decent bit more. That's what that's the one game mode I will give you. Ball is already used a lot. And is also kind of limited. Um so we could maybe use more UFO, more ball, but both UFO and ball also slow also stop fast, I mean slower than the robot. So the robot stops um by far uh, faster than any of the other game modes. Including jetpack, including spider, including. So at the end of the day, if you don't like the current platformer levels, you're probably not going to like what comes next because this is probably going to continue to some extent. I, I, I personally reject the notion that robot is overused. I think it's going to be the main usage of platform mode, honestly. 
I think a lot of these people just genuinely aren't going to like platformer at the end of the day. Or maybe they want something a bit more specific. Either way, this is not going away anytime soon. So I hope you understand that. And that's really all I have to say on the matter, I guess. Nope. Watch this though. Ugh. I guess you can create new game modes, but like you can technically do that in classic too, I guess. It's still this is still one of the main game modes of the game. Yeah. Robot just is kind of the best one, in my opinion. This is, jump is so hard, man. It's so good, yeah, I, lo I love the robot. Actually, a boss fight would not be that fun, I don't think, but it'll be a thing. And if it's done like avoidance, I think it could be fun. Young people are already obsessing over difficult platform levels and you're tired of how difficultly focused this community has gotten in general. It's hmm, been this way for a very long time. It's been this way for a very, very long time. Ever since the demon list really got... Like, this is not a new thing. This is by no means something that just sprung about. In fact, in every platformer, or any new game that's made, people usually put to limits. With something as open as GD, what, what would you rather the community be? I guess is my question. Would you rather us just not make hard levels? And for what reason? Because us doing this isn't impacting the other part of the community either, is it? Is, I guess, my, my, my follow-up to that, because... We're just doing our thing. You don't have to. You don't have to join us in our thing. People are making insanely cool stuff. You know, like that rhythm game. That's not a, like a hard level or anything. It's just like different. GD is not a casual. I mean, it can be, but it's definitely not for a lot of people. And I don't think that's a surprising thing either. I guess that's that's how I see it. This jump, man. This is like one of the only things that might be on the chopping block. To some degree, because holy hell. But I'm willing to give it a shot. And then this is, this is here. So that's... That's the first part of the... Hold on, let me just like no clip through it so you can see like how long it would take. To theoretically do a, a, a run of this would take theoretically this long. You do this. So that that's pretty difficult. That's like the first third of the hard area. This is the second third. Second third done. And then you would have to do this is the third third. Fail. So the the the, uh, the hard section goes on for quite a while. And then that, that's that's the end of that section, and then we're outside. I'm not actually trying, I'm just running through so you can see what, it, what it's all about. Oops. I failed. Let's see. This is, I think, reasonable to start. I think that's all reasonable to start. Why does all that one stop at some point? Just, just adds difficulty. It's also based on a Celeste uh, map, and that's probably a thing in the Celeste map, too. The third third is by far the easiest, which I think is good. It really does ramp down in difficulty over time, although the second third is really hard, admittedly. I think I actually did that jump right there, which is good. 
Overall, I'm pleasantly surprised with how consistent I'm getting at this section. Well, it doesn't have to be 100%. Like, oh, why am I doing that? You don't even have to do that for that job. No, I did not make this level. I am not that goaded. Okay, and then that's... That's the end of the really hard section. Now it's just the... It's just like the holy hell, don't mess this up section. Although, I think I'm probably gonna die once to that key collect. Or either, like, this side area over here. Because this is just... Difficult. Oh, I didn't want to collect that one at that time. <laughs> pretend, like, uh, pretend like I didn't do that. Then you gotta jump late. Do that timing. Oops. I actually land there and then bam. There you go. That's the level. Is it A to the right? I don't know. You can't go there. Cave of the Scarlet Sky. I don't know why I did something different here. It also soft locked. Wait, hold on. What? I don't want to be here. Okay. Uh, either way, I think that is going to be the end of the stream for now because it's been about. Uh, been about two and a half, three hours, and I can only really play something this hard for about that long. Uh, so yeah. Well, um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited about this, and I'm really excited about the uh, some of the strats I've found. Uh, we almost did like we almost did the uh, the Scarlet Basement jump in the the last third of the first part to the end of the level, which is really cool. Uh, we're like a few jumps away from the uh, the ship, so that's pretty damn cool. Uh, we can go ahead and raid someone. I'll be live uh, tomorrow, pro probably with some more learning. Maybe we could start. Maybe we could start kind of going for for runs uh, if we want to. It's not. We don't need to. We don't need to rush into it. Uh, the more time we spend looking for strats, the better we'll do. Probably the more time we get a feel feel out for it. Uh, Really excited about this. This level's pretty fantastic. I'm really excited to see where we can go with it. Overall, pretty great experience thus far. But I know it's going to kick my ass. It's going to kick my ass. I may have to remove one of the Scarlet basement jumps. We'll see. We will very much see what happens. Alright. I'll see you guys. Take care. Have a good one.